So remember Ahab. Then what happened? And uh, okay, let's read that to uh, complete the story because. And so, <laughs> uh, all right. So before we read, let's see what happened. Uh, verse ten, Second Kings uh, uh, twenty-two ten and following. Say, and the king of Israel uh, said unto Jehoshaphat, "Okay, no, go to." Uh, all right, okay. And the king of Israel, which is Ahab, and Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, sat each on his throne, having put on their robes in a void place in the entrance of the gate of Samaria. And all the prophets prophesied before them, which means the false prophets, the 400 people uh, prophesied before them. And so they were going about maybe uh, chanting and saying that, oh yes, uh, Ahab, you're going to win, you're going to win, you're going to win. 11. And Zedekiah, the son of uh, Chenaniah, uh, made him horns of iron. And he said, uh, Thus said the Lord, uh, with thee shall thou push the Syrians until thou have uh, consumed them. Which means he was... Uh, trying to encourage him, he made a horn and said, this is how you are going to push uh, the Syrians out of uh, uh, Ramoth Gilead, and you are going to win, you are going to be victorious. To, uh, Twelve, and all the prophets, which were the false prophets, uh, prophesied, saying, go up to Ramoth Gilead and prosper, for the Lord shall deliver it unto the king's hand. Thirteen, and the messenger that was gone to call Micaiah spake unto him, saying, behold, now the word of the prophets uh, declare good unto the king with one mouth. Let thy mouth, I pray thee, be like the word of one of them, and speak that which is good. Do we see that? The messenger that was sent to go and call uh, the prophet Micaiah was trying to also corrupt him. He said, look, when you go, Make sure you tell them the same thing that the the false prophet are saying, you know. Lie to him. Tell him that, oh yeah, he's going to win. You know, he's going to do this. And make sure that you tell him the same thing. 14. And Micaiah, Micaiah said, as the Lord liveth. You see how people put, they use the name of God in vain. That's what uh, this man was saying. This uh, uh, person was sent to go and call him, you know. He said, oh, make sure you tell uh, the king exactly what the other false prophets are saying. You know? And 14, Micaiah said, as the Lord liveth, I think I should, uh, it should, but Micaiah said, as the Lord liveth, what the Lord said unto me, that will I speak. 15, so he came to the king and the, uh, to, that means the king Ahab, and the king said unto him, Micaiah, shall we go against Ramoth Gilead? To battle or shall we forbear which means shall we go or should we, should we uh, just uh, withdraw or stop and he answered him and here is uh, and Micaiah answered uh, Ahab go and prosper for the Lord shall deliver it unto the hand of the king so rather look at even the fact is that uh, he also should we use the word temporarily lied to the king. Look at how it, you know, this man, King Ahab, he knows that this man doesn't tell a lie. He knows that this man always says something against him. And if the false prophet have already told him that, go, go, you win, go, you win. And then he was brought into the situation and then uh, Ahab asked him, so should I go? And he said, oh, yeah, yeah, go, you can go, you can go. And then Ahab realized that, hmm, this man, for the first time, is lying to me because if my prophet, my false prophets are telling me to go and you are also saying the same thing, then it means that something is wrong there. And he could say it. You know, he knows the man. He knows him well. And so, of course, uh, the man, that was not what the man was going to say uh, at, as a final uh, statement. He was going to ask something to read. Uh, 16. And the king Ahab said unto him, Micaiah, how many times shall I adjure thee that thou tell me nothing 
but that which is true in the name of the Lord. The man knows him. You see, that's the problem with all people, uh, people around the world now. They know the truth. They know what God's word says, but they don't want to hear it. They don't want to do it. They don't want to obey it. They know what the word of God means. Look at Ahab himself. He knows that uh, this Micaiah is telling him uh, something which is not right. And he said, how many times have I told you that don't tell me the, a lie? The person wants to tell you the truth. You don't want to take it. Then what do you expect the person to do? <sighs> so he knows. And Ahab said unto him, how many times have I, uh, uh, shall I adjure you, which means, you know, tell you that on the authority of God's word, you know, make sure you don't lie to me. Tell me whatever the word of God says. Even though I know I'm not going to be, I'm not going to obey it, I'm not going to do it. Just tell me the truth all the same. 16. And the king said unto him, How many times shall I adjure thee that thou tell me nothing but that which is true in the name of the Lord? 17. And he, Micaiah, the prophet, said, Now he's telling him exactly what uh, he wanted to tell him. I saw all Israel scattered upon the hills as sheep that have not a shepherd. And the Lord said, These have no master. Let them return every man to his own in peace. What is he saying here? He is saying that he saw all Israel, everybody, the, the armies, they were all scattered. They were all going helter scattered. There was no command and nobody to control them. Nobody to guide them. Go here, come there. And the Lord said, Oh, these people don't have nobody is to uh, is there. So let them all go home in peace. 18. And this is, uh, he knew what it, it meant. That was what uh, Micaiah the prophet told King Ahab. 18. And the king of Israel, which is Ahab, said unto Jehoshaphat, Did I not tell you? that he, Micaiah, would prophesy no good concerning me, but evil. You see, these people, they know what the word of God says. You tell them the truth, they say, no, it's wrong. Eh? People are now telling me, some people, when uh, President Trump announced that the houses of worship should be allowed to go and worship. Everybody should be uh, those Christians, even Muslims, and everybody who doesn't. He said that every religion should be allowed to open, to open uh, whatever they want to, and the churches should be allowed to open. Mosques should be allowed to open so that they can go and worship because they are. Uh, those who are essential and they pray and it's their prayers that is needed to help the country the u.s when i shared the message you know what happened people replied and said i mean most people replied and said we thank god because that is the whole thing that we've been praying for but those who have who don't believe god who don't trust god who have fear in their life and said it was a trap even one prominent uh, a preacher who is also uh, one of those who don't fear God, even though he's been preaching for decades. People know him. He's popular. He said it's a trap too. He agreed. He said nobody should go to church. People should stay at home because they are trying to kill them. He said he has somebody, he knew people who died out of this pandemic. So for that reason, nobody should go to church. So in this condition, when we are praying that we should go to church and have time to worship and be able to worship, he is rather telling them that, no, don't, because it's a trap. When you go, you are going to die. When you go, you know, you, you are going to be, uh, you know, you are going to uh, uh, get the infection or whatever it is. You see what is happening? God is telling us, we have prayed that we should have the opportunity to go back to church, to be able to worship. And now we are being told, no, don't. It's a trap. When you go, you are going to die. Christians, not even uh, Christians are saying this. 
So may God have mercy upon us to help us to know that if the word of God says we've prayed and God is giving us the answer to our prayers, let us not doubt as people who don't have faith in God.